Hello and welcome to another video from UNM.NU. This is the University of New Money. And this is an article I definitely wanted to discuss today because working in the auditing industry, which is involved with accounting, is a lot of the stuff I've heard is that blockchain is going to destroy the accounting industry. Is once you have blockchain and you have essentially verifications of transactions that have taken place is why would you need an accountant who enters transactions manually when you've had it verified uh, through consensus? You don't need a trusted third parties. You already have the blockchain. Transactions have been verified. You don't need accountants anymore to essentially enter transactions. And this is something I wanted to address. So this, this is from Deloitte, which is one of the bigger accounting firms out there. Um, and so this the article is the blockchain and its potential impact on the audit profession. As a CPA, a certified public accountant, and an auditor, is this is something which is something I would think about is if this is a threat to my industry. But as we go through this article, as I think we'll see that there will always be a need for tax professionals, auditors, people on the higher end of the profession, is maybe the lower level accountants where you're just doing simple transactions, that's going to be eliminated through blockchain. And just for the record, I haven't actually read this article. I glanced at it and thought this looked decent enough to present in a video. But let's go and go through it together and see what we come up with. And so, as the first part of the article discusses, which is why I wanted to share it with you, it says, while traditional audit and assurance services will remain essential, Blockchains, uh, blockchain business applications and new accounting technology are likely to have a significant impact on the way auditors execute engagements. So right there, I don't think that blockchain is going to get rid of audit and assurance services, audit professionals, even tax professionals, which isn't mentioned here. But again, it's going to just change the way that we operate in the accounting industry. So going through this. Uh, some highlights, blockchain technology has the potential to impact all record keeping processes. So when we're talking about accounting and record keeping, that's where I believe blockchain could have an, a huge influence. So on higher level accounting, for people like myself who has, have a CPA, and I'm not saying that having a CPA puts me above any other accountants, is, is a very difficult exam to pass, and I am very proud of that, but, um, you know, it's one of those things that if you're just working in a lower level accounting position, is this is definitely a threat. But I believe in the value of my CPA. I believe in the value of accounting is accounting isn't just straightforward in numbers. Is That's why there is a creative element to it. Is with taxes, as I've already made a tax video on the different ways that you can realize capital gains with Bitcoin. And if you go ahead and watch that video, is based on when you bought your Bitcoin and how you want to allocate your cost basis to sold Bitcoin is you could realize something from a $5,000 gain to a $15,000 gain. So that's a video I made today. And so go and check it out if you want to see different tax implications with Bitcoin. And that's just a case where blockchain's not going to automate that. Is you may want to consult with a tax professional and based on the income you've made in a certain year and how you want to approach your taxes, is you can allocate your taxes in different ways based on the way you've bought your Bitcoin or other cryptocurrency. And so it's definitely going to be a change in business models with blockchain and it may impact back office activities such as financial reporting and tax preparation, but this is something that all of us CPAs and other accounts are just going to have to adjust to. And so, going through the bottom here, it does say something about CPAs up here. Both the role and skill sets of CPA auditors may change as new techniques and procedures emerge. And as a CPA and as an auditor, that's one of the reasons I enjoy this profession, is that you have to adapt to change. And blockchain is going to be a huge change, which I believe is going to be a change for the better. So what is blockchain? We don't necessarily need to go through all this. Is that maybe I'll do a video in the future which discusses blockchain in detail. Um, the biggest thing is that I believe companies are going to use blockchain is getting down to these bullet points down here. 
you may still have transactions which are unauthorized, fraudulent, or illegal, execute, executed between related parties which have to be disclosed in financial statements, a link to a side agreement which is off-chain, incorrectly classified in the financial statement. So clearly there's going to still be a need for auditors. Just because something's on the blockchain doesn't mean the blockchain is complete. One of the things I've thought about, and I don't even know if it's in this article, but when you're doing capital asset testing, is you can go ahead and have a blockchain which records all of your capital asset transactions. However, as an auditor, is I want to see that capital asset in person. Is does the corporation, does the Native American tribe I'm working with, whatever entity I'm working with, do they actually own this capital asset? Is it in functioning condition? Is you may have a piece of equipment which is depreciated over five to ten years, but if after one year it's not functional, is that capital asset should not be valued what it is if it should already be depreciated 100% if it's not even in working condition anymore. What if that equipment doesn't even exist? What if the company or tribe has lost that asset? Is that should be removed from the books? So just because it's on the blockchain doesn't mean that there is no need for auditors. Is you still need auditors to actually dig into the details and be sort of the investigators of accounting. So, I wanted to share this article with you. Is definitely blockchain is something to keep in mind as I think it's going to actually help me as an auditor. It's just going to give me further evidence to evaluate. And as an auditor, I just want all the data I can get. Give me all the data, give me the blockchain, and let me investigate it and dig into detail where I need to. Like I gave you an example is on the blockchain is I may be reviewing capital assets, and it might be on the blockchain, but there might be certain capital assets I want to dig into into detail. So I don't think blockchain is the death of accounting, but definitely lower level accounting positions. If you're interested in accounting, don't let this discourage you. Just get your CPA, go into a higher level accounting position. I think you're going to be totally fine and have a rewarding career for the rest of your life if you so choose. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you're notified of all future videos which come out. Uh, I plan on making a lot of videos. As I've really enjoyed creating this channel, and I hope there's a lot of useful videos that you enjoy watching. And I want you to be notified of them. So please, again, like the video and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I look forward to hearing from you in the future, and take care.